Look, these guys have had nobody questioning them for two years or a year and nine months, and they've imposed dictatorial power on the people of the whole, whole of Britain and the world. Again, you have to listen. Yeah, carry on. Make another lecture yourself. Come on, get out. Well, we could have a lecture ourselves. Do it, take over here. Not here. Let him, let him here is with this man. We came here to listen. Perhaps he'll give us ten minutes at the end to discuss the no, issue of time. No. 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 He seems like a, a bright guy, and he doesn't seem like he seems like a fairly decent guy. He's quite a private guy. He seems fairly decent. Yeah, it's always difficult when I see these people to imagine. That, uh, that, that he's um, he's that. a nasty piece that. of work. I don't think that he is. My, my mother was born in Nazi Germany. She grew up under under Hitler. My uncle, she used to say, my uncles from the countryside, they used to say, the Hitler's coming. Let's go and see them all the country boys, you know. And each layer of the Nazi regime at the lower levels were ordinary people you would know. Be able to answer. Oh, no. Can you please no. 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 If you could sit down. sit down. In your summing up, do you mind no. answering the following no. questions? No. We do now know it's proven, proven in the AHJ that the jab, the mRNA jab, is killing people. It causes heart problems. It causes heart problems. That is proven. The jab itself is causing a disease. That is proven. It's time to end the jab program now. I don't think it's possible that he genuinely believes that he is right and he's doing it. Doesn't thing. Matter. That's the point, it doesn't matter. Because once they embark on that path of power and lies and concealment, ignoring this and focusing on that, then it becomes a power in and of itself that they do not control, they are controlled by it. And therefore, it doesn't matter who they are, they, they can be the nicest person. Yeah. They don't have to be Jack the Ripper. They don't have to be the, the mass murderer with like, I'm going to murder people. No, the point is, it's, it's murder by, you know, by, by, by nasal swab and injection. And it's for your own good. Answer the question, Mr. Widget. Can you sit down, please? And oh, I want him to answer the question. Is he going to answer the question? Please, let me just complete the rest of the talk, which most people are interested in. Yes. Answer the question now. So I want to just to round this out by really talking about three different broad, uh, broad areas. Can you address the question, Mr. Williams? Yeah, this is more important yeah, than your stupid important. lecture. Yes. Answer the question. Fascism is being imposed on the world now. And you want to talk about this stuff. We've had Answer enough of this stuff. It's we got to stop creeping fascism in Europe and the world. And he is an architect of it. He should be arrested, along with Boris Johnson and Patrick Hillard. They're guilty of conspiracy to murder children. The JC... The JCVI said there was no need to jab children, and you and Johnson and Valence went ahead with it. You are murderers! You criminals should be arrested! Chris Whitty, you are a murderer! The JCVI interesting being in that room with Witty, I could feel his anti-human presence, his anti-human agenda. So he's a man who can shut off from emotions, that's the sense I get from him. So for him, he would just stand there like a ro yeah, almost like a robot, and that's what he did. And he would let the barrage come through, and then in the end, he can't deal with it, and off he goes. You know, that, that's how someone like Witty will deal with these things, and I expected that, you know. 
as part of a and free, not everybody is as courteous as most people in this country. And at this point, I think probably we should call a shut it down is very good it puts the message out to these people like witty that we're not just going to crumble and bow down i heard something uh, professor neil ferguson say i think it was in a document where he said that he was surprised how easily the uk locked down and capitulated basically so what we're doing now and showing that we're not going to capitulate we're not going to bow down is powerful and we have to keep going resist everything get out there do the outreach work get to the communities give them the information give them the courage to stand up to this tyranny and say no. Anyone around the world who sees this will know we're bringing a sense of reality into the room. We're bringing the elephant into the room. Yeah, here is the friggin' elephant. You're talking about waterborne and foodborne diseases. Here's the elephant in the room. Yeah. We've got an entire world still in chaos as a consequence of the disastrous policies and ideas these people promoted. And, and we're pointing out here's the elephant in the room. Deal with it.